back to my channel. I'm so excited that you guys are in. Thank you to all my subscribers also that have subscribed. I'm almost at 100 subscribers and it just means a lot to my channel and just supporting and everything like that. Right now, I'm so excited. And if you haven't seen my Christmas decorating and shopping with me video, go to the link below. I'll link it in there. It's just my last video I just posted because I decorated my home for the first time for Christmas in my very own place. Um, as some of you may know, I got married this summer to my most amazing, the most amazing and wonderful husband ever. His name is Jared and he is so sweet, he's so kind. He's so funny and he's um, such a God-fearing and loving man and I'm just so grateful for him. And so today, this video is going to be a little bit different. Today, I just wanted to just talk to you as the seasons are quickly approaching, as, um, you know, the weather is getting cooler, the Christmas trees are up, even though it's not Thanksgiving yet. But as you can go into any store, you see that um, we're celebrating the holidays and everything like that. And so I know some of you maybe you're really, really excited and you just can't wait. And just this season of cheer, this season of giving and love just makes you so incredibly happy. But there may be some of you guys right now who are watching who just lost somebody. Maybe someone in your family has gotten sick, whether that's you or a loved one. Maybe you're just struggling financially and you don't know how you're gonna pay the bills. Maybe you just are going through a season of depression. Maybe you just lost a baby. Maybe you have an addiction that you just can't seem to get rid of. I wanna encourage you today to press into the word of God, to get down on your hands and knees and cry out to the Lord and just tell him everything because God hears you in the seasons of good and bad. God is always the same God and that's exactly what I want to talk about today. So if you think about it, um, like for me, like I was talking about how I just got married and how I just just moved into my home and like there's so many blessings that God has done in my life and it's incredible to see just how good he is, how faithful he is and right now in this season of life, it's pretty easy to be thankful to God. It's pretty easy to say, you know what, God, I thank you for my life. I have so much gratitude and serving God and being a Christian in this world is hard sometimes. But right now, I'm just in a season of just like, thank you, God, for everything you've given me. Like, I am able to pay every bill on time. My husband has an amazing job. I have an amazing job. I get to work at my church and do ministry like I've always felt like I was called to do and my job has a job in electri um, electrical and those kinds of things. And like, God is just so good. But if you were, at, if you were to ask me a year ago, um, I feel like I'm just getting emotional because it's just, it's so near to my heart. But a year ago, around Christmas time, so many things were happening and there was a lot of, hardship and struggling and everything like that um so in the year of 2020 right after christmas or actually it was 2021 it was like early january my dad got diagnosed with a disease called mds and it's basically where your bone is not producing good blood and it's basically like a bone cancer it's really not that common and it's pretty rare, rare. And I was completely shocked. We didn't know that was it was coming. One day my dad, he was not feeling well for a while, but he didn't want to tell us. And that's just how my dad is. Like he does not want to just add any attention to him. Like he is just so loving. He's so, he's like my favorite person. Like my dad is my hero. And I grew up and he was just such an amazing father. He always dropped me off at school and told me I'm pretty and smart. And he was just such an encouraging father. And I just looked up to him in so many ways. But that's just the kind of man he is. Like he doesn't ask for things. He doesn't want to show that he's in pain when he's in pain. And he was in pain and he drove himself to the emergency room because he was not feeling good at all. And 
the doctors were just shocked that he even made it there. And honestly, if he didn't get there, maybe he wouldn't have lived another day. And basically this journey was so hard for my, me personally, my family, and it was a struggle. And to be honest, in that time of being thankful was very hard. It was very hard to just be thankful when the first thing I thought is, God, if you take away my dad, like, how am I going to, how am I going to forgive you? Like, how am I going to move on in my Christian walk? And this is just being completely honest and vulnerable. In the times of goodness, it's so easy to thank God. In the times of blessings, it's so easy to praise your hand, raise your hands and praise and worship and give all the glory to God. But when you're, when your faith is tested, when you go through the trials, when you go through the fiery furnace, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, are you going to stand strong in your word? Are you going to say, yes, God, like I'm going to give you everything I have. God, I'm not going to let my sh my faith be shaken. God, I'm going to trust in you. But I'm not, But that's not to say that the processing isn't going to be easy. And it's true. It was hard. My dad, though he was at such peace, he knew that he was going to come through this and he wasn't going to die. But there's just so many things to the story. And I would love to do a video with my dad and just go in detail because it is a miracle that he's still alive today. Um, it's a miracle because the odds were stacked against him. He literally was told by doctors he was not going to make it. Like there was such a low chance of his survival. And he needed a bone marrow transplant. And we are Hispanic. I'm Mexican. And um, the percentage of getting a match for a Hispanic person is so low like the odds were stacked, stacked against him it was just basically impossible one thing to find a match to do the transplant another thing for them to be willing like it's a it's a really big deal to give a transplant to someone a bone marrow transplant and it's just so incredible that my dad there was a match first of all and that match was willing to do this. And most of the time it's like, okay, if you get a match, that's great. They'll do the transplant, they'll do the procedure. But it's like, there's also a low percent chance of surviving after that. And my dad beat all the odds. He was able to come through it stronger, greater. And I just see the goodness of God, the light that he carries, his soul and his his just everything about him you can just see the love of God radiate off him and I could say you know last year like it would have been really hard to be thankful and it was but this year in 2022 I've just seen the blessings of God in so many ways it's just it's so incredible like my sisters they both have kids one of my sisters Julia just had a baby um with her husband no way um, like a few weeks ago and my dad is there to see the generations of, of blessings to come and it's just it's so incredible so I want to encourage you today whoever you are watching this video whether you're in a time of your life where you're thriving maybe you just hit a peak in your life you're just so successful whatever you're doing you're just so happy ambitious and you just have such a calling on God's life and you just know where you're going and that's great. I encourage you just to keep on seeking God, to continue to just hear his voice, to just get in his presence, just journal, read the word, and get to know your father because he loves you. And he's the only one who could tell you who you are. He's the only one to give you the plans and purposes of your life. He's the only one to bring restoration. He's the only one who can heal you and who can set you free. But maybe some of you are watching and you're in the place I was last year. And to be honest, you don't know how you're going to make it another day. Maybe you are really struggling. Maybe a similar story to mine. Maybe you're sick and you're watching this video and you've lost hope. And you've given up on not only yourself, not only God, not only your family and friends, but on life. I want to encourage you to keep on going.
you got this. Do not give up because God is good and he is just and he loves you so much. So keep on going. Miracles do happen, guys. Miracles happen every single day. And there are some people who don't believe that God does miracles. Still, there are some people who think that miracles were just for the Old Testament, just for the old times. Um, back in the Bible, that when Jesus was on earth, that he was healing people and he performed miracles. He healed the lepers. He healed the blind. He healed the sick. He literally rose the dead to life. And there's a lot of people in the world who don't believe God does miracles. I'm here to tell you today as a living testimony that God does miracles, not only physically, but also in your heart with not just with the seeing but with the unseen things that you're going through if you need healing in your life today if you've been abused in your past or maybe you've been abused recently whether it was sexually physically verbally however it was God wants to bring you healing today. God wants to bring you restoration today. And by give, letting him come into your heart, letting him be the Lord of your life, you are going to just be set free. And maybe there are some of you who haven't accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you're hearing all these good things. You're hearing all these amazing things. But you're just like, I don't know this God you're talking about. I don't understand. And... I don't even know how I can deserve this love. Well, I want to tell you that Jesus came on this earth like we think about for Christmas in this holiday season. It's not just about gifts and materialistic things and spending time with family, but we remember that Christ was born in Bethlehem. And he was just born and he was born in a manger. He was born so humbly. But he wasn't just born for nothing. He was born for a purpose. So he could take the sins, your sins, upon your upon him, his shoulders, upon himself, and be um and be beaten, bloody, bruised, put the crowns of thorns on his head, and hung on the cross to die, but then raise again three days later, so you can have an intimate relationship with him. Because Adam and Eve when they were um, on the earth, they separated themselves from God because they sinned when they took the fruit of good and evil, the knowledge of good and evil. If you want to make that decision today to ask the Lord to be your Lord and Savior of your life, if you want to stop being fake and stop trying to just live your life when really you're just so depressed, you're just such in a dark place, maybe you're thinking about committing suicide today. I want to tell you that just by making this decision and asking God to come into your heart to be the Lord and Savior of your life, that you're going to find everything you need in Him. Stop trying to seek who you are in men and all these materialistic things and these people that cannot succeed and cannot fulfill your heart because I've done that. I have totally tried to fill my heart with so many things that were not godly and it left me broken. It left me heartbroken and without hope, but God is your hope. So if you wanna make this decision today, I want you to just repeat this after me because it's not just raising your hand or saying, God, like I want you to be my Lord and Savior, but it's inviting him into your heart because he's a gentleman. He's not gonna come barge down on your door of your heart. He's not gonna just come down and just ask and demand, but he's a gentleman. He wants you to invite him in. So we're just gonna say this prayer and I just want you to repeat after me and then you're going to just have God in your heart and you're gonna be a Christian. So just repeat after me, just say, Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross for me 2,000 years ago. I thank you, God, that you love me, that you have set me free. Lord, I pray and I repent for all the sins I've done. Lord, today I make the decision to invite you into my heart, to be the Lord and Savior of my life. Today, God, I leave my past behind and I'm looking towards the future with you. Thank you, God. I am yours and you are mine. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you all so much. If you made that decision today, please comment down below. If you have any prayer requests, comment down below as well. And we would love to pray with you. We love you so much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.